what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology once again and tomorrow is the most awaited festival of the month yes 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 vedic culture is very beautiful every month there's a different festival yes so the most awaited festival of this month has finally come yes 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 tomorrow is Ram Naomi, yes, the appearance day of Lord Sri Ramchandra himself. So today we will discuss on some things from Lord Ram's life and how it is related to astrology and how can we imbibe those lessons in ourselves, yes, and how can we live a life like he lived. We may not be able to live it fully, but at least we can try to follow in his footsteps as it is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Mahajano Yena Gata Sa Panta that we should try to follow in the footsteps of the great Mahajans, the Mahatmas and God Himself, who is Lord Ram. Yes, Mariada Purushottam, the best of the best of the best. So if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then at least for Ram Nam you should subscribe. <laughs> and if you want a consultation, then approach me through my website. The link is there in the description below. And if you are new, then you subscribe or you send uh, this Ram Naomi video to somebody else who is wanting to know because Lord Ram uh, has uh, significations with this planet Sun as we all know which is the most important planet. Oh no 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 moon is important right. <laughs> Alright so uh, and yes by the way I hope you have watched uh, the video with uh, James Brasser which I uploaded yesterday and some of you have been asking me what about that Mars Saturn conjunction video which you told you will upload on Friday or Saturday. No, 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 I will be uploading that. But uh, uh, many of you had requested for the James Bras video earlier. So I thought, okay, let's take it for a ride. Surprise. <laughs> and uh, so the Mars Saturn conjunction video, I'll be uploading probably by Monday. Yes, Monday promise. That's a promise. <laughs> okay, so what's going on now? Mercury is retrograde. So I'm making this video now. I don't know. <laughs> It will be over or there will be some problem in between. <laughs> Alright, so God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him in the form of Lord Ram tomorrow. Yes. So finally tomorrow Ram Naomi has come the ninth lunar day which is the Navami Tithi. And Lord Ram was born in the Treta Yuga as we all know. Yes, he was born as the son of the great 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 king Dashrath. So many of you had asked me why is the name of Lord Ram's father Dashrath? Yes. Well there are many reasons for this. One of the reasons uh, why he's known as Dashrath is um, he could simultaneously fight in 10 directions. Yes. That is why he uh, is known as Dashrath. And there are so many other names. Yes. So I mean so many other meanings of that name and there are so many other ways in which he's uh, addressed as yes so and he was invincible also nobody could uh, fight with him yes he was like all powerful so and uh, Dashrath had many queens he had uh, so many queens and prime uh, prime of them were Kaushalya and Sumitra and KK as we all know and the, this is something very important in the story of Lord Ram's birth actually which not many people discuss so I'll be sharing something on that Lord Ram, he, uh, when, before he was born, actually what happened was, Dashrath was not having uh, any son. He had a daughter whose name was Shanta, I guess. Yes, Shanta. <laughs> so, uh, this, uh, but as a king, he wanted a son. So, who, who could carry on the dynasty and the lineages. Yes? So, that was very important for Chatriyas those days. But, uh, unfortunately, he did not have. Yes. And then he was very much morose, he was unhappy, he was frustrated, he was tormented from inside that after I leave, who will take care of my citizens? Yes, because the son only continues the dynasty, I, I mean uh, the rulership, yes, the hereditary kingship. So then he thought, I need to do something seriously now. So then he approached Vashishtha Muni and then he requested Vashishtha that please tell me something. How can I get a son? And then Vashita said that when you are not able to have a son, then we have to approach higher powers, higher authorities by who, whose blessings we can get a son. Yes. So then he told him that there is a great sage. His name is Rishi Shringa. So Rishi Shringa can 
when he comes and does yagya and he blesses only then can uh, this happen yes uh, you can get a son so he said but rishi shringa is not very easy to be pleased it's very difficult to please him so it is up to your efforts in uh, trying to Uh, please him and impress him and trying to bring him to your city yes ayodhya so that you can get a son and then he did that and then dashrath maharaj went barefoot walking without his chariot without his charioteer without any of the opulences which he had as a king and then he went and begged to rishi shringa that please come and help me get a son please do a yagya or do some ritual by which uh, that can happen and then when uh, rishi shringa was uh, rishi shringa saw the humility of dashrath maharaj then he was impressed and then he decided okay i will do a yagya by by which uh, you will uh, get a son and then they did the yagya and whatever came from the yagya dashrath had distributed it to uh, to sumitra na, and then uh, sorry to kaushalya and then kk in two parts of that which came out and then Kaushalya and uh, KK gave one part, na, uh, each to Sumitra. So like that, Lord Ram was born from Kaushalya, and then Bharat was born from KK, na, and Lakshman was also born from Sumitra, and then Satrugan was also born. So like that, four of them were born. So that shows the important principle here is to know that sometimes we are not able to do something ourselves. Yes, like Dasad Maharaj was not able to have a son. but by divine empowerment by divine enlightenment he could get it so the, the important thing is not uh, how you get a son or what you do in this material world but the principle is that sometimes when we can't do things ourselves sometimes then we might need the help of divine enlightenment divine empowerment yes so by that we when we get the blessings of the great souls as in uh, the fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam rishabdev says to the eldest of his son bharat maharaj and all other 99 sons yes he says mat sevanam api dwara vimukte shu that by serving the great souls the doors to liberation is open yes so what about uh, things like getting a boy or getting a girl but it's like the doors to liberation is open yes so rishabdev one of the avatars of vishnu he Uh, specifically tells this to bharat maharaj this is a different bharat this is not the bharat who is the brother of ram this is different bharat so he tells to bharat maharaj that when ever you get the chance to serve a great personality please do it because then if he or she becomes pleased then that person will bless you hopefully <laughs> and then you will have those blessings in your life which you have never ever thought you could have and those are not materialistic benedictions like they can be materialistic also like in india many times people go to their so called gurus and they say guru ji aashirwad de dijiye and then the guru will say acha ho shubh ho but then the question is how do you define what is shubh right because uh, for one person the definition of something good can be different and for the other it can be something else so Uh, we need to be very specific when we ask for boons and blessings and benedictions and generally it is best if we ask for our spiritual elevation our spiritual growth because anyways what's there in our material life in our materialistic karma that will anyways happen to us right so that's the first lesson here before even the birth of lord ram that when we serve great personalities now, now maybe rishi shringa was there those days but maybe is not there now of course but <laughs> we can still find so many other great personalities no? so many gurus so many sadhus whoever we feel comfortable and whoever we feel contented and whoever we feel inspired by we can always go and ask them that sir what can i do for you yes 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 this is the question which we can ask them yes sir what we can do for you please tell me what can i do for you so then 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 they may say you that okay go and do this go and do that yes so which will help them uh, spread uh, the mission of spirituality which so many people are spreading these days so this is one thing which we learned from before the time when lord ram was born yes so the, the this is a very important lesson because rishabdev says you can even get liberation moksha by doing this so basically it said that millions and millions and millions of years of spiritual progress yes of all the difficult activities puja chanting of the names worshiping god doing vrat uh, following ekadashi so many things all of them can be summarized and in a shortcut you can achieve it if you 
go and serve a great personality yes, as in sanskrit or in hindi they say na sadhu janon ka ki seva karna so that that is very important so whenever we get a chance we should always go and donate the things to them we should always go and uh, ask them that if we can be of some help if we can be like a instrument in their hands yes we can't be much but at least we can try our best so when we do that then uh, it is very good so this is what lord ram Uh, this is the uh, this is something which is important because lord ram is not yet born he is going to be born tomorrow right <laughs> so today uh, we can uh, maybe maybe today is saturday also so today maybe also we can go and uh, do something yes we can do something for uh, the sadhus or the gurus or if we have some guru who is connected who we are connected to uh, so today maybe we can give them a phone call and ask the guru ji is there something which i can do for you <laughs> so he may or may not be happy he will obviously be happy of course but uh, we will be very blessed so even if the guru tells you that no no there's nothing else that you need to do now but if in future there's something then the guru can let you know yes so that's very good for us to do today because tomorrow is lord ram's appearance eh? and as we see uh, in the lord ram's life when he was born and then he went to gurukul where he was with vashishth muni there he got all the training the teaching and there fine day one day vishwamitra muni came and vishwamitra muni said to dasharath that i want your son ram and oh my god <laughs> i want to fight i want him to fight the soldiers of ravana and then when dasharath heard that oh my god that's not possible he's just a tender you know, young boy you know. how can he fight the demons of ravana's army you know? and then then dasharath maharaj was totally bewildered but he had given his word to vishwamitra muni that no no whatever you say or ask or request i will not deny so he said okay take him with you and then lakshman also went yes so that's something very beautiful that lakshman always used to accompany lord ram yes and then when vishwamitra muni took ram and lakshman then he had killed uh, so so many yes so many demons and uh, and then finally they got married in mithila in swambar of sita devi where lord ram had broken that shiv dhanush uh, which which angered parshuram very much and when parshuram got angry he came down from the mahendra parvat and he was like oh my god who is that who has broken the bow of my worshipable lord shiva today i will slay him death shall dawn over him today but somehow lord ram by his humility and by his behavior as you see behavior he convinced parshuram and then parshuram understood that he is non different from lord vishnu himself so parshuram offered all his obeisances to lord ram and then he departed so that is there's also another teaching in that sometimes there are things which cannot be solved without fighting yes as they say in hindi lato ke bahut baatos se nahi mant but many times it happens that there are things which we can solve by talking but and by discussing yes by negotiating by trying to explain and trying to understand what the other party wants to say right so, and by being very humble by being very considerate respectful cordial so that is what he demonstrates from the day one yes so he could have also said to parshuram oh you are challenging me i will fight you <laughs> i will defeat you because uh, one of my gurus he always says it is very easy to defeat somebody but it is very difficult to win somebody should i repeat it is very easy to defeat somebody but it is very 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 difficult to win somebody <laughs> you can smash people but can you win them yes so that's what that's the trait which lord ram displays even when he was young very much i mean he is never young or old but if you say on a monday level now when he was young then he displayed and then when he uh, married uh, sita devi and then finally kekai after hearing those words from mantra she said to dashrat that bharat will sit in the throne and then you have to banish lord ram to the forest yes for 14 years in exile and then lord ram says yes okay if that is what you want in fact lord ram says to kekai yes why do you have to tell your father Uh, sorry why do you have to tell my father all this 
you give me the instruction that go to forest for 14 years don't sit in the throne let bharat sit i will myself give it <laughs> yeah so you don't you don't have to tell this through my father yes you could have directly said it to me if you would have said it to me i would have myself left it and i would have myself gone to the forest for 14 years because that is the instruction which you would have given me because you are my mother yes so it is my duty to follow so please you uh, there was no need for you to have uh, taken my father as a middle man yes so you could have given me the instruction directly so lord ram said like that and then without saying anything he left for one was yes 14 years he was in exile in the forest and sita devi like a chaste wife she also accompanied and then lakshman was also very angry and he said oh i will also accompany you i will not stay here wherever you are i will only stay there yes so lakshman is like the perfect brother yeah. so we see in the life of lord ram he had such intimate relationships na especially uh such great brothers and such a noble and chaste wife i mean who would not want all those things right in today's world so there was this brother lakshman who said to his wife that my dear wife we got married but i have to be with my brother i am sorry i can't stay with you <laughs> and then lakshman's wife also doesn't say oh you are not following the duties of a husband that some there was a, there was recently a lady uh, there was a lady who started arguing with me oh lakshman is the most insincere husband i have seen i said why what did he do <laughs> oh he left his wife just because of his brother i'm like lakshman's wife didn't have a problem why are you having a problem <laughs> so that that was the quality of uh, the ladies those days na. okay the husband is going for some higher purpose no problem let him go i will stay as his wife even if it means to stay without him so staying in separation from the husband for 14 years now my god what a, what a sacrifice wife of lakshman she did yes so Urmila is also very famous because of her sacrifices yes and then Bharat Maharaj was there of course who became the king the other brother of Lord Ram and then Bharat Maharaj also he could have stayed in the palace and he could have enjoyed all the royalty and all the all the riches yes all the pleasures and all the allurements of the kingdom my god but he said no if Lord Ram is not staying I will also not stay in the palace yes and then shatrugan was the last he he was the only one to have stayed here so he stayed back in the palace and everybody else was out so that's what lord ram's life teaches us yes sacrifice yes sacrificing things for higher purpose yes so just because his father had given a word he sacrificed the kingdom he left his life and he left his home he could have said oh you have given promise now it's not my duty na i mean i mean how am i supposed to suffer for your promises if uh, it happens in somebody with somebody like uh, today in kaliuga then the person will say oh do hell with your promise na you have given promise i didn't give promise yes nowadays even if they give promise they will not fulfill it now what to speak if father gives a word that's like that can only happen in treta yuga na those days so that's what lord ram teaches basically because he is the significator of uh, the sun yes he signifies the vishnu avatar which is from the solar dynasty and that is what sun does sometimes sun will purify us sun will show us that look my dear sir you may need to sacrifice certain things for higher good for higher purpose for higher cause yes and that is why sun is also the significator of astrology of light of spirituality of divine wisdom of enlightenment as the prayer goes na oma gyan timirandhasya gyana anjana shalakaya chakshur unmilitam yena tasmay shri guru venama the guru comes and enlightens the being it he removes the blindness which is caused by the darkness of ignorance yes so that is why when people ask me that oh i have a afflicted son my son is with saturn or it's with rahu or it's with ketu or with mars or with the ruler of the 8th house or the 12th house whatever it is so we can make sure that we try to read the stories of lord ram from the ramayan and we try to imbibe his teachings values and life example on ourselves yes because he displayed the perfection in every area perfect 
son perfect perfect in everything man this is like he's never short of perfection because he's vishnu ultimately so he can he is the only one who can be perfect so he did not come uh, to uh, do much superhuman activities like lord krishna did but uh, he also had done so many things like uh, he when this uh, samudra was not giving him the way then he said that oh with the brahmastra i will burn off this entire ocean today and then samudra dev he came out and begged forgiveness oh my dear lord <laughs> i thought that in this life you will be behaving like a human but you are again behaving like god so i am confused then lord answered okay that's okay now let me go <laughs> i need to go to lanka and kill uh, ravan yes so he is the perfect person in every aspect so we can we can't be like him but uh we can at least try that we follow in his footsteps and the most important thing ram nam is impo- is uh, crucial is lord ram had killed ravan yes what does ravan signify ravana signifies lust basically yes because he always lusted on the wives of other men and that's what happens when you when our lust inside goes haywire yes we indulge in things like watching pornography or enjoying with multiple people or breaking the vows of marriage doing extramarital affairs or whatever it is any form of indulgence in lust that is going to degrade our consciousness so the question is who can protect us yes the only person who can protect us is lord ram yes so whenever people tell me that oh i am suffering from this problem i am suffering from that problem <laughs> oh i'm married but i like that lady more than my wife what should i do my god <laughs> imagine all these things now breaking apart things and families collapsing There's such disasters happening these days so lord ram is the only solution yes he can only protect us from this demon called ravana which is inside us ravana was killed by lord ram but somehow he always lives eternally in our hearts right <laughs> ravan is eternal his chiranjeevi he never dies my god <laughs> and ravan will live in our heart to the degree lord ram is away from us should i repeat he will live in our hearts as our best friend till the time lord ram is away so so one of the analogies which i heard was that ayodhya is like our heart and lord ram has gone away from this place yes because we have been indulging too much in materialistic affairs and we have forgotten god yes that's what happens to people in the mundane society you go and tell them that oh there's this function this program this satsang can you come and then people are oh i have to watch the ipl match i have to watch game of thrones i have to watch i have my uh, wedding anniversary i have valentines day i have to propose to this girl yes i have to take her for a ride do this do that i don't have time for god so our heart is like ayodhya which is bereft for 14 years of lord ram's association so when we meet those people who are speaking about lord ram 24 hours yes and then when we try to read the scriptures like ramayan which lord ram uh, which is uh, which speaks about lord ram yes rama ayan ayan is the journey and it's the journey of lord ram so when we try to imbibe his principles and his ideals in our life by that we will realize that one day the demon ravana which signifies lust inside our heart kama one of the six anarthas that demon perishes yes and then we will overcome the desires for insatiable lust which is tormenting the living entity all the time and lord krishna says in the gita mana shasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati that the living entity being tormented by mana shasthani indriyani mind and the senses prakriti sthani karshati he is doing kara he is doing work 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 yes oh i need to impress this man i need to impress my boss i need to impress him her oh my god such a big game <laughs> so then uh, when we imbibe lord ram's values in our heart we chant his names shri ram jay ram jay jay ram <laughs> and we become like hanuman who was ever ready to do any service for him yes he want me to bring the dronagiri parvat yes i will bring it he want me to go to the himalayas do this do that he want me to do go and burn the lanka i will do it lord ram never said to him that go and burn the lanka but he burnt it himself right <laughs> <laughs> so lord ram said to uh, hanuman that go and find sita but he not only found sita devi he also did some extra service yes so 
in spirituality we should always be like that whenever we are given some service suppose our guru tells us that go and distribute these 100 books yes 100 bhagavad gitas you go and distribute then we should take a target of 120 actually <laughs> yes because then uh, 120 is like it's like hanuman no? we find sita but we also do something more yes but in corporate or in business or in job scenarios it doesn't happen like that oh you said do do this i will do that much but in spirituality we should always do something extra always remember the example of hanuman yes always do something more always do something unexpected do something extra yes so you should always cross the line of it yes because that's the beauty otherwise it's like anything else of this world right so i can go on and on speaking on the rama and it will take me ages to speak and finish and it's never possible to finish because lord ram's glories are endless to speak but the most important thing for ram Nomi is that it is important that we let lord ram take birth not tomorrow <laughs> but in our hearts which is like the ayodhya where lord ram has left yes whatever reason it could be but lord ram is not there in ayodhya now yes ayodhya is like our heart which is bereft of lord ram and that that's why ayodhya was dark for 14 years and then when lord ram came back they celebrated the festival of diwali there was light everywhere there was hope there was prosperity so our heart is also like Ayodhya, which did not have Lord Ram, yes. And Lord Ram was not born, yes. Then Dasat was very, uh, he was very much discontent within his heart. So our heart is also like that. Oh my God, I have this desire. I have that desire. I want this. I want that. Oh my goodness, so many desires. The only desire that is not there is desire to go close to God. So when we cultivate that desire, yes, by meeting those people who are close to him by doing uh, our mantras properly in the morning by reading the holy scriptures by reading the gita by reading the Srimad bhagavatam by reading the Mahabharata, by reading scriptures like the ramayana yes by reading the quran or the bible or whichever religion you are whichever text you are um, uh, having a very strong identification whichever inspires you yes so when you read that so when you read all those stories and then you will realize that yes I cannot be like Hanuman, but at least <laughs> I can try to be myself and do something for Lord Ram. Yes. So whenever we meet people, especially tomorrow, it's great if we can share the knowledge of Ram Nomi and we can share pastimes, yes, of his great devotees like Hanuman, Jambava, Vibhishan, Sugriv, Kevat, so many, so many, so many, so many, my God, yes. So that's it. I will end this video, short video as, is, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that is it from my side if you want to improve the planet sun maybe sun is in the sixth house eighth house twelfth house or it's in libra or it's afflicted by saturn rahu ketu mars or whatever it is yes so now somebody will write to me in the comments oh my son is with jupiter in the eighth house is it afflicted man that's not the purpose of this video okay the purpose of this video is not to see if you have afflicted debilitated or a miserable or a weak son yes shatbal and whatever it is but whatever dignity your son is try to improve it by reading and by uh, understanding lord ram his life and taking to his principles as he's known as mariada purushottam yes best of the best of the best of the human beings although he's god himself but he behaves like a human being to teach lessons to us all right it's been a long video that is it from my side Wish you a very, very, very happy Ram Naomi festival. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. And if you are new, you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it on Ram Naomi at least. And then if you want a consultation, then approach me through my website. The link is there in the description below. All right. So that is it from my side. Wish you good luck. Bye bye. Tata.